Tonight, the superintendent of city schools of Decatur is strongly condemning a racial video posted on social media. It shows a boy waving a gun, using a racial slur, and then talking about killing African Americans. It's beyond disturbing, Aisha. It truly really is, Cheryl. So the superintendent says the person in the video is a Decatur High School student. Superintendent David Dude's post about this video has gotten support from hundreds of people on Facebook. Here is just part of what he wrote. What is the excuse this time that he didn't know he was being filmed? He didn't know someone was going to post it. I'm tired of excuses and I know so many in our community are as well. This has got to stop for it to happen the day after George Floyd died at the hands of the Minneapolis police. The month that cell phone video was leaked, exposing the use of realization that Ahmaud Albury was hunted down in a modern day lynching. This is unfathomable. Students need to know the history of this vile, hateful language. He ends it with a plea to the community members and parents to talk about racism with their kids and to let them know it won't be tolerated and ends by saying, quote, these racist beliefs and language may not have started in our schools, but they can certainly stop there. Aisha, a lot of people were very supportive seeing the superintendent speak out on Facebook so strongly in words, but understandably what they really want to see is some action here. Maria says, we need swift and harsh policies against students like this. She believes the person in the video should be expelled and possibly even face charges. And Aisha, it echoes uh, a lot of the, the things that we've seen online about his post. Uh, I think when he talks about no more excuses, that is something that resonates with a lot of people. And when I see something happening with a young person, I always think, where, what are they hearing at home? What's going on at home? Exactly. And from an instance in Decatur with a high school student all the way to what we are seeing play out in Minneapolis, people want to see action. They're tired of, you know, thoughts and prayers. They are tired of, you know, we're going to look at this and we need to wait for all the facts to come out. People want to know that they are being cared for, heard and supported in a very tangible way. We did reach out to the district to see if there is any sort of action being taken at this point. We have not heard back. We'll keep you posted if we do.